Superstock has taken over the lead. Concert Tour has been defeated. Superstock, Ricardo Santana win the Arkansas Derby. They're at the post. They're off. Navigational Beacon wins the break. Goes to the front. Eli's Girl and Landslid with Dial Dish. Navigational Beacon can pick her path. Lady Envoy is next. Lantern's Candy was a bit awkward at the start. She's second to last, and the trailer is Abby the Bulldog. Navigational Beacon uncontested to the backstretch. She's got a three-length lead over Landslid and Dial Dish. Lady Envoy passes Eli's Girl into fourth in the white blinkers. She's five from the front. Eli's Girl has six lengths to make up. Then Lantern's Candy, the big favorite. Outside of her, it's Abby the Bulldog. And Navigational Beacon is in charge up the backside. Navigational Beacon, a two-length lead over Landslid in second. Dial Dish is third at the rail and two and a half or three from the front. Then comes Lady Envoy. Now Lantern's Candy is closer. She's in the red with the black cap about to split horses, and she might go all the way up and through to second. Here's Lantern's Candy on the move going into the far turn. To the outside, Abby the Bulldog, much tighter order as they leave the backstretch. Navigational Beacon, now just a half length in front of Landslid. Lady Envoy, Lantern's Candy at the rail, and to the outside, Abby the Bulldog. Five within two and a half lengths of each other at the top of the stretch. Two back to Eli's girl, Dial Dish has dropped out, and Navigational Beacon is the leader. Lantern's Candy has some run. She's going to need a way through, though, from the inside. Meanwhile, Landslid to the outside, and Navigational Beacon and Landslid are one, two. Lantern's Candy still has a length and a half to make up, but the rail is open, and here she comes on through. Navigational Beacon is gone. It's down to Landslid or Lantern's Candy, and they get together shoulder to shoulder. Lantern's Candy, Landslid, Lantern's Candy in front. Lantern's Candy beat Landslid. It was a long way back to Navigational Beacon and Lady Envoy. They're off. Kiss Principal broke fine. He's just very slow early. Paid in full, American Smooth and Liars Club show the most speed. Mystifier and Shinnecock Hills are next. Then Kiss Principal and the trailer is Seaside Boy. Liars Club kept way to the center of the racetrack, but he's going to smoothly go up and take over the front from Paid in Fool, who will let him go. So Liars Club is about to clear off, and he leads by a length and a half. Paid in Fool lets him go and sits second, two and a half to Mystifier and American Smooth. Then comes Shinnecock Hills. He's got about six lengths to make up. Kiss Principal's just inside of him. Seaside Boy is nine lengths behind the uncontested leader, and that leader's name is Liars Club. Liars Club to the four and a half. He leads by two and a half lengths from Peyton Full in second. Mystifier and American Smooth both have about four lengths to make up. Kiss Principal's closer now. He begins to unwind for Bejarano. He's in fifth and about four from the front with Shinnecock Hills just outside of him. Seaside Boy is caught up to the back of the pack, and Seaside Boy is actually running pretty well. He just ran alongside and past Kiss Principal. Meanwhile, up front, here's Peyton Full to challenge Liars Club. Liars Club is just a half length in front of Peyton Full in second. Now Kiss Principal is re-responded, and here he comes after the top two. He's within two and a half of the lead. Seaside Boy has dropped back a bit. Top of the stretch, Peyton Full and Liars Club. Liars Club is inside. Peyton Full is outside. Seaside Boy re-rallies through from the inside. Chris, Kiss Principal, any one of four can win. Liars Club, Seaside Boy on the move at the rail to the outside, and Peyton Full, Seaside Boy, Liars Club, Peyton Full, and Kiss Principal. Liars Club, Seaside Boy, Seaside Boy. Rode the rail to the win over Liars Club. Peyton Full was third, and Kiss Principal finished fourth. They're off. Busy Gal 
Frank's best and goes to the front from Yolanda Hu and Megan's Clara. Fun time girl and proud footer next. And the early trailer is Big Java, the three-year-old Yolanda Hu takes charge. Yolanda Hu's a length in front of Busy Gal and Megan's Clara, now together second and third. A length and a half to Proud Foot and Fun Time Girl. Big Java's at the back of the pack. She is sixth and last with five lengths to make up as they leave the backstretch with Yolanda Hu in charge. Yolanda Hu leads the comebacking Megan's Clara by three quarters of a length. Then Busy Gal at the rail. Big Java has moved up into fourth now, and she's got forward momentum for Nick Juarez. Meanwhile, on the front end, Megan's Clara makes her move to the front, and she co- Posts and cruises to the lead. Megan's Clara going to be tough to catch now. She has quickly opened up a three-length lead on Yolanda Hu and Big Java. Proudfoot is next. Final furlong, Megan's Clara has the lead. She's two and a half in front of Yolanda Hu, Big Java, and to the outside, Proudfoot, but it's Megan's Clara. Santana just looked back, and he's got to be very happy with what he sees because he is now eight in front. Big Java trying to hold Proudfoot for second. Megan's Clara, yes. Megan's Clara won by nine. Big Java did get second. It is very close for third between Yolanda Hu and Proudfoot. The thrill of thoroughbred racing is always available with Oaklawn Anywhere. Because Arkansas residents can bet on races from all over the world with any smartphone, laptop, or tablet. Anytime, from anywhere. Download the Oaklawn Anywhere app. Sign up now, and you can qualify for a bonus of up to $150. Best of all, Oaklawn Anywhere is a free betting service with no subscription fees. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. What's your Oaklawn? Maybe it's relaxing at our world-class spa or unwinding in a completely different way. It could be an evening at the Oak Room and Bar, late night dancing at Pop's Lounge, or just lazy mornings at your own pace. And our location in Hot Springs makes Oaklawn the perfect place to discover everything the Spa City has to offer. Explore the possibilities and make your reservations at oaklawn.com. What's your Oaklawn? They're off. Watch this money, Sanger Star, Bike Car Betty, and Rockabilly All Shows Speed. Perfectly Golden was a bit slow into stride, but moves up into fifth as Watch This Money will cross and clear at the clubhouse turn. Tribal Spirit is next, then Robina, and the trailer is the slow starting Lovely Joyce. Watch This Money clears off to the backstretch for Isaac Castillo and leads it by two and a half lengths. Two Bike Car Betty and a three wide Rockabilly. Sanger Star now backs out at the rail in fourth and three from the front. Perfectly Golden is next. Then four back to Robina, and Lovely Joyce is the trailer. The horse alongside Perfectly Golden is Tribal Spirit. Up the back stretch they run, and watch this money is traveling along smartly. She leads it by two lengths from Rockabilly, who is in second. Now it's a lineup of four in the third flight. They are Tribal Spirit, Perfectly Golden, Sanger Star. Now three, because Bicar Betty has dropped back. She's about to be joined and passed by Robina. Lovely Joyce has trailed throughout, and Watch This Money has led throughout. Watch This Money, a two-length lead. Perfectly Golden and Rockabilly are now together second and third. Robina has moved up into fourth now, but on the front end, Watch This Money is still sharp, and she's at the quarter-mile marker with a three-length lead. Perfectly Golden is now a clear-cut second, two back to Robina. Then Lovely Joyce from the back of the pack, but Watch This Money is cruising along in command. She comes to the final furlong with a five-length advantage. Perfectly Golden is second, then to the outside in Robina. Lovely Joyce will get a part of the check, and it's Watch This Money, who is far in front. Watch This Money won by about eight. Perfectly Golden was second, Robina third. Lovely Joyce finished fourth. They're off. 
Fast start for Tillis and Atris, their quickest. Newsbox and Wesleyan are close up at the rail. Whooping J is in the mix as well, and Wesleyan going to go all the way up and challenge Whooping J for the lead. Then comes Eisenstadt and California Street with Drifter, and the trailer is Optimus Cat. A lot of pace on going into the far turn. Four of them stacked up. Whooping J at the rail. Atris and, Wes and Wesleyan four wide and Tillis between horses. Then it's two and a half back to Newsbox and Eisenstadt. California Street has about five lengths to make up, and he's three in front of Drifter. Desperately last is Optimus Cat. They run around the far turn, and one of the top four is checked out, and Wesleyan's about to put his head in front. Here is Wesleyan just in front of Tillis. These two are matching strides. Newsbox is on the move, and here's Newsbox in the white cap. He's within a length and a half of the lead. California Street has a lot of run. If he can find a way through for Keith Asmussen, that just opened up, and here's California Street to challenge for the front. To the outside and Drifter. California Street just in front. Drifter trying to get him on the money. California Street and Drifter. Cal California Street to the wire to win. California Street beat Drifter. Newsbox third and Tillis finished fourth. They're off. A Real Jewel, Prince Dreamsis, and Jetsa Jin in show speed. Then to the outside, and Tipsy Gal. She's Cold as Ice is next, then La Morena, and the trailer is so it would seem. Jetsa Jin in and A Real Jewel, match strides. Jetsa Jin in ahead in front of A Real Jewel in second. Then to the outside, and Prince Dreamsis in third. A length and a half to So It Would Seem, who moves through at the rail. Tipsy Gal is fifth and two from the front. She's Cold as Ice just outside of her, and the trailer is La Morena, and the leader is Jetsa Jenin, but here's Prince Dreamsis to run alongside, and now these two match strides towards the quarter pole. Jets a Jenin ahead in front. Prince Dreamsis is second. A Real Jewel now clears into third. She's cold as ice is fourth. Not today for Tipsy Gal, top of the stretch. Jets a Jenin and Prince Dreamsis. They are shoulder to shoulder with a final furlong to run. Jets a Jenin inside. Prince Dreamsis outside, and they are sprinting away three in front of A Real Jewel. Prince Dreamsis. Now Jets a Jenin is back to second. And Prince Dreamsis is clear, a 16th out, and now she's opening up. Jetsa Jinnan will try to hold second over a real jewel. Prince Dreamsis in front. Big win for Prince Dreamsis. She won by six and a half lengths. Jetsa Jinnan was second, a real jewel third. She's cold as ice, finished fourth. Want to know the most exciting use of your iPhone or iPad? It's the Oaklawn Anywhere app. Oaklawn Anywhere is available in the App Store, and Arkansas residents can download it for free. Then you can bet online anytime on your iPhone or iPad and get cashback rewards. Sign up now, and you can earn as much as a $150 bonus. The Oaklawn Anywhere app opens up a world of top racing action wherever you are. From Oaklawn, home of the Arkansas Derby and the Racing Festival of the South, to racing at tracks across the world, you can bet and watch right from your iPhone or iPad. Bet online anytime with Oaklawn Anywhere, Arkansas's exclusive window to worldwide racing. For more than a century, the people of Arkansas have come to Oaklawn to play, to bet, and to win. Now, we're coming to you. Introducing Oaklawn Sports, the new mobile betting app from Oaklawn. Bet anywhere in Arkansas. Bet with confidence. Bet with Oaklawn. Download the app and start betting today. Oaklawn Sports, Arkansas's trusted brand. They're off. 
Peaceful Street broke well. So did Looking for Loki. To the outside, Blame JD and Upstriker, followed by Cosmo and Lost in Limbo. Then Doubly Blessed, and the trailer at the back of the pack is UVC. Up the backstretch they run, and Peaceful Street has the lead. He's a length in front of Lost in Lo Loki. Blame JD, I think, is four wide. Inside of him is Cosmo. Lost in Limbo is Lost in the Fog. No, he's not. He's not that good. Uh, doubly Blessed is next, and that's the best I can do. Let's see where they are around the far turn. Nothing. Let's try the TV. Well, that's super nothing. So how's your day going? You know, I'm really looking forward to my day off tomorrow. But by the way, we start running here at Oakland on Thursdays in March. Hey, here they are. Peaceful Street has the lead. Between Horses is Upstriker. Lost in Loki is at, or looking for Loki. To the outside, Blame JD's got a chance. And even Lost in Limbo, who's coming on in the center. Peaceful Street, Lost in Limbo. Looks like it's one of these two. Peaceful Street, Lost in Limbo. Peaceful Street, Lost in Limbo. Late run, UVC. Peaceful Street, UVC. On the money. He beat Peaceful Street. Cosmo might have been third. They're off. Mo Choctaw broke very well. So did King Peanut and Westheimer Street. Allo Henry and in the center, Top Road Rules. Then comes Mahomey, followed by Lockmore and Amazing Wisdom. Next, it's Street Commander, and re-up is the trailer, and the leader up the backstretch is Mo Choctaw. Mo Choctaw, a two-and-a-half length lead over Westheimer Street in second. King Peanut in good striking position third. A Fleet Skies outside of him in fourth. Two lengths further back to Allo Henry between horses Lockmore. Then comes Amazing Wisdom and Mahomey. Mahomey's moving through at the rail. He's got some run. Mo Choctaw, the leader at the top of the stretch. King Peanut has just moved in to second. Then comes Westheimer Street. At the rail, Allo Henry. Mahomey continues to advance. Top of the stretch, Mo Choctaw leads. He's got a two-length lead. Stretch runners are coming. One of them is King Peanut. One of them is Mahomey. And in the center of the racetrack is a Fleet Sky. Also in with a good chance is Lockmore. Mahomey and Lockmore. Now these two. Mahomey inside. Lockmore outside. Mahomey and Lockmore. Mahomey in front. Mahomey beat Lockmore. King Peanut was third, close for fourth between a Fleet Sky and Mochakta. They're off. Falconite broke very well from the inside. Campisi's close up. So is Santino's fantasy. Guarded's at the rail. Uncaptured Dream is between horses. Then to the outside and Leola, followed by Order of Merit. Next, it's Singing Groom, and the distant trailer is Sunshine. It is Falconite up the backstretch, a length in front of. On the outside, I think that's, I don't know who it is. It's. Campisi, I think, coming up into second. Let's switch to the TV. We're going to struggle with this. Falconite's in front. That we know. Moving up on the outside, that is Campisi, who has run into second. Then comes two lengths further back to Order of Merit. Sunshine is moving a bit. At the rail is guarded. Four back to Singing Groom. Top of the stretch, Campisi has taken over the lead. And Campisi's getting away. He's now two and a half in front from Falconite in second. Then comes Order of Merit and a late run from Sunshine. But it's Campisi and Order of Merit 1-2. And Campisi's clear and he's got it. Order of Merit is second. Sunshine might get into second. It is Campisi in front. Campisi won a length and a quarter. Order of Merit was beaten for second by Sunshine. Finishing fourth was Singing Groom. <laughs> 